You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. Black and White Sports fans, we're going to be talking about Brian Flores. As you guys know, Brian Flores is suing the NFL and other teams alleging racial discrimination when it comes to hiring uh, black NFL head coaches. And Brian Flores was a finalist to be the head coach of the Houston Texans. However, the Texans and uh, Nick Casario felt that Lovey Smith was a better candidate and a better choice to be the head coach of the Texans rather than Brian Flores. Now, guys, after he didn't get the job, Brian Flores, his lawyers came out and they made a statement. And they actually said in that statement that the only reason why. Brian Flores did not get the Texans head coaching job is because of his stance in suing the league over racial discrimination. Now, guys, Brian Flores is now taking it one step further. In suing the league and other NFL teams. He has now added the Houston Texans to the lawsuit. Yes, the Texans are being sued, as you can see here on the New York Post. Brian Flores adds Texans retaliation claim to NFL lawsuit. He is alleging that he didn't get this job because the Texans uh, were retaliating against him for suing the league. So he's essentially calling the, te- the Texans uh, racist, too. This is ridiculous, man, because he has no proof whatsoever that the Texans were retaliating against him by not giving him this job. Now, guys, if he actually did get this job, do you guys think he would be suing the Texans right now? No, no, he would not. But I believe that uh, Brian Flores, career is completely over now in the NFL. He's going to Kaepernick route. But uh, let's read some of this, guys. Brian Flores has another claim to add to his lawsuit against the NFL. The former Dolphins coach suing the league for discrimination against black coaches and executives in his hiring process is amending the lawsuit to add a retaliation claim against the Texans. Pro Football Talk reported Sunday that actually dropped um, during the Super Bowl. Uh, Normally, I would actually made a video then, but the Super Bowl was going on and. You know, nobody's going to watch the video then anyway. Uh, Flores was one of the reported finalists for the Texans head coaching job, but filed his lawsuit against the league while the interview process was ongoing. The team ultimately hired Lovey Smith, the veteran black head coach who had served as Houston's defensive coordinator last season. During Smith's introductory press conference, Texans GM Nick Casario insisted that Flores' pending lawsuit did not affect his chances of getting the job. Quote, speaking specific to Brian, I've known Brian a long time personally and professionally. I have a lot of respect for Brian as a coach and a a person. He was part of this process, Casario told the media. He's been a good coach in this league for a number of years. Part of my responsibility was to spend time with as many quality candidates as possible And Brian was one of these. After Smith was um, hired, Flores and his lawyers issued a statement in part foreshadowing the retaliation claim. And I guess we really should have saw this coming. I just kind of overlooked it, but I did find it interesting on this last part of the statement that I'm going to read. This is a refresher here on what his lawyers put out. Quote, Mr. Flores is happy to hear that the Texans have hired a black head coach, Lovey Smith. As Mr. Flores's goal is bringing his case is to provide uh, real opportunities for black and minority candidates to be considered for coaching and executive positions within the NFL. However, we would be remiss not to mention that Mr. Flores was one of three finalists for the Texans head coach position. And after a great interview and mutual interest, it is obvious that the only reason Mr. Flores was not selected was his decision to stand up against racial inequality across the NFL. You see that, folks? They said it was the only reason. So he's claiming that the Texans are retaliating against him. Brian Flores felt that if he did not get this job, 
the Texans were discriminating against him. They were retaliating against him. This is completely insane, folks. He has no standing for this. The Texans have a right to hire who they want to. See, this is the problem, man, when you have to play the racial game. This is the problem. The Texans hired another black man. Wasn't good enough for Brian Flores. So now he's suing the Texans for just basically not hiring him. Ladies and gentlemen, you have no right when you interview for a job to get the job. And if you don't get the job, you shouldn't be able to to sue the company for not hiring you and just claiming racial discrimination or retaliation, whatever. He has no standing for this at all. No standing whatsoever. Brian Flores, man, he's done with the NFL. I just don't see any kind of way that a team would consider him for another head coaching position. Because what he's doing now to the Texans, claiming that they're retaliating against him for suing the league, it is completely baseless. I mean, this man is just ruining his name. That's why I said, folks, before he wants to be the new Colin Kaepernick and become a professional victim. Because I do believe being a professional victim, we've seen it, man, in all uh, industries, woke industries now, it pays off. Look at Kaepernick. He's making millions of dollars from um, from Netflix. And I believe uh, Walt Disney also. You have a bunch of other race hustlers out there, too. This is what he wants. He wants to become uh, some kind of a NFL martyr or something like that. This guy's ridiculous, man. This is ridiculous. But that's just my thoughts on this. What do you guys think of this? Black and white sports fans, the Texans are the next team on the hit list of Brian Flores. This guy is absolutely pathetic, man. Anyway, guys, let us know what you think about all this in the comments. Make sure to subscribe to Black and White Sports. And we'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.